getting around the user interface. Here we are inside of Mask Pro. Before we get started, let me give you a quick tour of some of the tools you'll be using. First off, in the center of your image, you'll see a preview window, which will contain your image. At the bottom of the preview window are your preview mode controls. You'll see them as five buttons across the bottom. The first one, labeled with a zero, shows your original image. The second, with a solid color, allows you to preview against a solid color background. You can select which solid color you'd like to preview against by simply double-clicking on the small button. It'll bring up a standard Photoshop color picker dialog where you can select any color as your background color. Keep in mind this is only used to preview against. It will not create a new layer with that color for you. The third option is the transparent option, which will show your new background as transparent. The next option is the mask view. We'll show you how the mask view and the cleanup mask view work once we get started. And then the last view mode, my favorite, is composite view mode, which will preview the layer sitting underneath your target layer, or in this case, your background layer, if you've prepared your composite properly. This is the mode I like to use most often because it gives us the best idea of how our composite's going to look. To the left of the preview window, you'll see a floating tool palette. It contains all the tools that you'll use for selecting your keep and drop colors, your tools for painting away or restoring the background, as well as the cleanup tools for refining your mask. There's also a pan or hand tool and a zoom tool, just like you see in Photoshop. You can use the zoom tool and the pan tool to zoom in your preview and to navigate around. To use the zoom tool, select it, and then click on your center of interest. You can also draw a region to zoom in just by drawing a box. You can zoom out by holding down the Alt key or Option key on your keyboard and clicking again to zoom back out. The pan tool or hand tool allows you to navigate around the preview. You can also double click on the hand tool to zoom back to fit the screen to see your entire image. You can use the same keyboard shortcuts for zooming and navigating as you would in Photoshop. So you can use the command or control plus and minus key to zoom in and zoom out as well as hold the space bar at any time to turn any of your tools into the hand tool to reposition your preview. On the right hand side of the screen, you'll see the tool options palette. The tool options palette is contextual. The options you see will depend on which tool you have selected at the current time. For example, when the magic brush is selected, you'll have options to select the brush size and how hard the brush edges, as well as control specific to the tool like transition and threshold. We'll talk about what these mean when we start to use the tools themselves. Below that are the keep and drop color palettes. You can use these to control which colors you will keep and which colors you'll remove in your image. We'll talk about using those as well. There are a couple of other palettes that might be helpful for you as well. You can go to the window menu to access these other palettes. These include the tutorial and tooltips palette, which will give you information about the currently selected tool, the best ways to use it, as well as its keyboard shortcuts. On many of the tools, you can also open a short movie that will teach you how to use that specific tool. It will open up its own window inside of Mask Pro. It will play and show you how to use that specific tool. You can control the audio volume by using the slider. You can also pause, rewind, and play by using the playhead controls at the bottom of the window. When you're done with the tutorial, just plus the close button in the upper left hand corner to close it. You can also open as many navigator windows as you'd like. Navigator windows are small thumbnail views of your image that allow you to have a bird's eye view of what you're working on. And you can create them for each different view type if you'd like to. At the top is the toolbar. The toolbar gives you access to checking for automatic updates as well as seeing the about box. Under the file menu, you'll find the close and apply option as well as the ability to save and load a workspace. You'll find many other useful options and tools under the Edit, View, and Window menu. The Show Me How menu gives you access to video tutorials like this one, as well as the link to the On One website to find more tutorials. And under the Help menu, you'll be able to access the User Guide. That should give you a good idea of how to get around in Mask Pro. Next, we'll talk about basic masking.